video I'll be going over double integrals over more general regions. So in the last um, concept video and in the last um, problem set we did um, double integrals ooh, sorry double integrals over um, regions that looked like this right like a rectangle okay and that was pretty simple because we just had x um, interval going from a to b some constant to another constant and y doing the same thing from a c to a d so these are all numbers a b c and d so that was um pretty that was the most simple uh, version of a domain okay um, and remember we also called this r since it was a rectangle but now what we're going to be doing is more general regions um, which includes things that look like um, some function here and another function here and we'll be setting an a and b on the x-axis um, something like this, so it'll be this region in here, which is not obviously not a rectangle. Um, we'll be doing other things, which look more like this, um, and this will be the other way. So we'll set a C and D on the Y. On the y. Um, so this is our X, and that's our Y over here. So it'll look something like this, and I'll explain all of these in greater detail. Um, so something like that, and then even in another case, we might have a region... Um, a region or a domain uh, created by two curves, like two curves that we we know pretty well, um, and then it'll be this region in here, or something, anything other than a rectangle, basically. So um, let's get started. So I'm going to go over the first kind um, of graph that I drew, the more general region. So this, um, let's see. Okay, so I'll give you the title first. So the terminology for the following graph is called vertically simple. Vertically simple. And it looks like this. So we have our x and our y, x and y. And here um, we're just describing the domain. So vertically simple domain. OK. All right, so this is an xy plane. And when you have something that's vertically simple, we have um, some functions, two functions of x. OK. So two functions of x um, could be something like that and something else like that, OK? So here's our, I'll just label it like this. Um, I'll just give it a name, g1 and g2. Um, and then, as I said before, I'll make an a and a b. So this is our interval on the x um, with respect to x. And our region is this right here what I'm drawing. So this little section in here um, looks like a sideways vase kind of. Anyways, so this is what we're looking at here and this is vertically simple um, because y stays in between um, it doesn't go below g1 of x and it doesn't go any higher than g2 of x. So that means that y is bounded by g1 of x on the bottom, right, because it doesn't go any lower than it, and by g2 of x on the top, because it, doesn't, it can't go any higher than it. Um, and x, x has the simple bounds, just a to b, right? And if we move b over here, then we'd extend the region. Um, so yeah, this is what characterizes a vertically simple domain. Um, and the way I kind of think of it is, well, you see all these um, marks here, but I think, like, drawing lines from one curve to another, um, I get vertical lines, right? Um, so you'll see in the next one, so I'll, well, okay, I'll set up the integral first. So the integral for these, um, if you were to say this is your d, right? I'm pointing to the shaded region. Um, so if you take the double integral over d, our domain here, of some given f of x, y, um, dA, this is going to be, um, and just as a general rule, you always want to have um, your simplest bounds on the outside, if that makes sense. So simplest, by simplest, I mean um, the constants. So what we're going to do 
is put A to B. So we're going to put the DX stuff, or all of the X stuff on the outside. And then we'll do the more complicated, relatively, um, bounds of G1 of X and G2 of X on the inside. And then we have DY on the inside. And then our normal, whatever um, F of X, Y is, whatever they give us here. But this will be um, how you set up a vertically simple um, domain when you're integrating over uh, such a domain. Okay? Um, and then I'll just show you. If we were to try to do it the other way, like change the order, so to have the Y stuff on the outside and the X stuff on the inner, um, this is what it would look like. Is you just switch them, right? And, okay, keep going. Almost there. Okay, so then we have dx, dy, but then as you see, as you might see, um, and I think, I believe we'll see this in another example as well, but if you try to do this and you integrate re with respect to the inside first, holding y constant, right, because we're, we're uh, integrating with respect to x, um, then we'll get something in terms of y, um, which is good, because then we have to integrate with uh, respect to y over here. So basically... What we'll get on the inside is uh, some function of y, okay? So we'll get some function of y. Um, no, I should make that an h, just so we don't get it confused with the g's. So some function of y is in the parentheses. And then when you um, integrate the second time with uh, in a single variable kind of case, then we have uh, integral of h of y dy with these bounds. But then when you plug in these for your y's, then you're going to end up with an x again in your answer. So that wouldn't, we're kind of going in circles here. So anyways, um, this second way is completely wrong. So just erase that out of your memory. Just think um, the x's, anything in terms of x, see these two bounds here? They must be contained within the dx. Um, so see how the, the x stuff is on the outside, right? x uh, corresponds to a and b as the bounds. And if you have x's inside, that's good. If they're like included in the rainbow kind of thing. I don't know how to put it, but um, yeah. So you'll see in the next one um, a similar kind of trend. Okay, so the other one was vertically simple. Now uh, we'll explore horizontally simple. Horizontally simple. Um, and we're talking about the domain, okay? So this one, on the other hand, uh, looks something like this. So we have our x and our y, x and y, and now we have some curves going up and down. So then this looks like that. Okay, um, we'll call this g1 of y and g2 of y, okay? Um, and then what we actually have going on here is horizontal lines horizontal lines, and our bounds for y are c and d. Um, okay, so we're looking at this region here, right in there. Okay, um, all right, so this is our d, that's our domain, and now what we have is x has to stay within um, these two curves, between these two, okay? So it cannot move to the left of g of 1, g1 of y, so g1 of y is its lower bound for x. And the upper bound, it can't go more than to the right of g2 of y. So that is its upper bound, g2 of y. And then y um, ranges from c to d, right? So if we keep like drawing lines in here. So y is going to range from c to d, OK? And again, um, the little trick works. So if you try to draw a line from one curve to another within the domain, um, you end up with a horizontal line, right? So this is the way you can tell it's horizontally simple. Okay? So um, in this case, the uh, integral, I guess, would look like this. So this is what we're doing in general. And then this time, it's going to look like, so we want the constants on the outside, right? So that'll be c to d and we have dy on the outside, and then we write in the other, like, more complicated bounds, um, g2 of y, 
and then f of x comma y dx. Okay, and as I was saying on the last one, um, this time, all of the dx, anything with x's, um, has to stay within the x rainbow, I guess you could say. Um, so, yeah, all of the x's are inside, we can tell, because these bounds over here, which are outside, they don't, they're just numbers. They don't have x's or anything, so we're good there. And also, now let's make the dy one. So the y rainbow looks like that, or... Or you could draw it on top, whichever way you want to go. Um, so here are y's. And these bounds, which do contain y's, they are included in the rainbow. So that's good. Um, basically, you just want them inside um, your differential or your x or your y, um, if that makes sense. Again, like I said, we'll be seeing this in some examples, so don't worry. Um, okay, so that's uh, horizontally simple. And... We went over vertically simple, so now let's try an example. Hard, hard.